Hi all. Welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to give detailed review about JBL Endurance Sprint in ear Bluetooth headphone. So this is the one in front of you. Uh, so this one I purchased from Curry's PC World 3 months back. I think you can get it from other shop and Amazon as well. So this cost around 39 pound which will be approximately 3500 Indian rupees. So I'm using it around my workout while traveling to office. I also use it while attending phone calls or office meeting. I feel it very very useful and effective as well. It gives me around 6 to 8 hours of backup if I'm using it on regular basis. It is waterproof uh, as well as sweat proof and it has really a good grip while running and walking as well. So uh, let's start with the specification. So this is the one in front of me. So as you can see over here it's Bluetooth enabled which say like it has a power backup of around 8 hours as I'm using it for last 3 months. So I can see like it gives an backup of around 6 to 7 hours which is pretty good like it's generally if you charge and use it the whole day then uh, it never run out of battery so uh, next good thing about this is like if you are running out of charge and you are just charging it for 10 minutes it gives you an hour backup which is also pretty good this also say that it has maghook technology which is mentioned over here and touch controls as well which is available on the right hand side which which is i'm going to show you in detail then this box contains a earphone and a usb charging cable and three ear tips which is on different sizes like small medium and large whichever one suits you you can fit it in it is claiming that it's waterproof as well which is pretty good so right now i'm going to open it in front of you so that you can see how it looks like so here we go that's the one that's the first look of this uh, earphone so it's kind of very beautiful so let's open it uh, i had packed it just for a demo so let's open it now so this is the earphone this is how it comes while purchasing so let's see it's really lightweight and you can see over here uh, they have given us a manual as well in which they have given the clear use of how you are going to use it for taking phone calls or playing audio increasing or decreasing volume so you can get the same thing while purchasing so you can see a charging cable over here so uh, and you can see three ear tips Uh, which is of various size as it was mentioned over there so based on your ear size you can pick anything and fit it over here okay so this is the earphone we are talking about so if you are seeing it over here like the maghook technology whatever i was discussing is like this is kind of a flexible so it fits into any size of ear easily and it holds the grip properly so if you can see over here as well this is the touch one which is going to you are going to use it for various purpose and as you can see over here this is the charging port so you you can charge it from a power bank or from a usb cable which is being provided over here so i am going to show you another thing of this your phone is like it has it is, this is the magnetic uh, things over here so if you will see whenever you are not using then uh, you can keep it like that so let's start with the demo so as you can see over here uh, as i told you before so this is the right hand side and that's the left hand side one so the touch functionality stays on the right hand side so 
if you want to switch it on you just need to tap it for few seconds so when you tap it a red color light is appearing over here it means this device is not connected to any device so let's uh, i am bringing my ipad at this moment and i'll show you how you can connect uh, it by it to your any device so i am turning my bluetooth on so you can see it's appearing over here jvl entrance frames use a tap over here to connect it so as you can okay as as you can see the device has been connected over here and you can see a blue light which is constant it means this device is being connected to a device which is ready for the use so now i'm going to give a demo that how you can use this functionality as per this manual so first thing i'm going to tell you about this music one so i bring my device which is being connected with this jvl endurance sprint which is right now showing as a blue in color it means this is connected to my ipad so what i'm going to do is i will play this video over here and i will show you parallelly how you can control it using this so here it says like if you tap once then it will be paused if you tap twice it will show you the next video and if you'll tap thrice it will show you the previous video so let's go through it the so i am going to tap once over here so you will see the video is getting paused so as you can see over here right now this video is paused so if i'll tap here again so this video will start playing and if i'll tap here twice so it will go to my next video which is this one and if i'll tap thrice i'll go back again to my old video you can see over here so pause play next video previous video one more thing i would like to show you over here is how you can increase the volume so as i mentioned previously if you tap here this video will start uh, playing so this is the option like if you are uh, just tapping it over here like that you can see a volume is getting increased in my uh, ipad similarly if you are getting a phone call then you need to tap here once to pick the call you are going to tap here twice if you want to drop the call and you have to tap here thrice if you want to mute the call so it's really easy and this is compatible with both uh, iOS and Android devices uh, please uh, go through this video and give me any valuable comment if you can please like my video and share it i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and it has given you all the necessary input uh, which is needed in case you need anything more you can put your uh, comments in the section and thank you again for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel thank you